Welcome to Mexico, friends. This is my first international trip I've taken in over 11 months. I just can't believe I'm here. It has been so long since I've traveled internationally. I've been traveling around Canada for the last year, but I have really, really missed experiencing other cultures and visiting new places. And yeah, I just, I'm so stoked to be back. So first trip of 2021 is kicking off strong with Tulum. I have been here before, but I truly believe there is so much to see around Tulum that a lot of people just kind of miss because they stay on the main hotel strip. So that is what I'm hoping to show you guys in this series is more like off the beaten path stuff you can do here in Tulum. Hello from later in the week, Robin. I realized in my excitement of like having my first trip in an entire year, I forgot to tell you guys why the heck we're doing this trip in the first place so my friend Laura has a swimwear line called live more and I have been hired to model for her for the launch of her new collection in Canada it is literally impossible to shoot a whole bikini swimwear line in the dead of winter so we've come here to do that as well as we've been hired by a local hotel here in Tulum to shoot a bunch of photos and video content for their new villas that are I was gonna say going live um, that are available for rent as of literally this week I just wanted to pop in and tell you guys that because I was so freaking excited when we first arrived that I just completely neglected to tell you guys that so Yes, that is why we're here, but let's get back to the vlog. I look forward to sharing my Mexican adventures with you. I am freaking fired up, but also very under caffeinated right now. So Laura just went ahead, but we need to go catch up with her and go get a cup of coffee and a little bit of food because yesterday was a very long travel day. And um, yeah, I am underfed and under caffeinated. So let's go take care of that and then we can get on with our adventuring. dining at a spot called La Pavetta and this is a spot right in Tulum town. Super cute and the reviews online were really good. I've never been here before so we are going to be trying it for the very first time today. some wheels one of the main ways to get around here in Tulum is to ride bikes and it actually is busy season right now I didn't know this last time I was here in July and August it was super empty and I felt like every restaurant was really empty and it was very chill definitely a lot of people here now we had to go to a few bike shops before we actually found some available bikes and we got the last two here so very stoked and it cost us about ten dollars a day to rent the bikes One thing I really love about Tulum is when you rent bikes, you have access to all of these really beautiful jungle roads. It's definitely like the way to get around Tulum and you get some exercise so you can work off all of the cervezas. So Laura and I tried to be really sneaky and take this road that looked like it went directly to the beach on the map uh, and turns out there's no beach access. We were stopped there and someone tried to like bribe us to let us go through <laughs> an unopened road. So we are heading back down this road. I'm gonna pop up actually the map on the screen right now and show you which road to not go down because it does not have beach access. So if you're staying in Tulum Town, 
it is not a shortcut. But we are gonna go back to the proper entrance to Tulum Beach. There's basically like one access road there. So we were trying to be sneaky and beat the system, but <laughs> we did not. Uh, but yeah, we are determined to go to the beach today because it has been so freaking long since I have swam in nice warm water and all I wanna do is like run directly into the water. So let's keep riding and hopefully we find what we need to find. Mm. A sweaty sweaty beast that was a very long detour I feel like we were riding our bikes for like almost three hours so make sure you take the main road into Tulum and uh, don't try and be sneaky and take any shortcuts because there ain't any but Laura and I have finally oh God, so made it to the beach it's so so nice to finally have my feet in the sand first time oh in the beach uh in like a year i mean a warm beach i should say but yeah we want to put on our swimsuits and get in the water because we have not swam in a warm ocean in a very long time and stoke is at an all-time high right now so i'm gonna change into my swimmy and we are just gonna go in that water and ooh, live our best lives guys so let's do it girl there is nothing quite like swimming in the warm ocean and there's all these cute pelicans like surfing the waves and diving for fish they're just insanely beautiful like I've never seen so many pelicans in one place before they're so gorgeous but yeah it feels good to be back in the tropics if you want to come to Tulum and come to a beach that's not on the main Tulum strip we're just a little bit I would say north of the main strip yeah this is like Laura and I's little hack look for three star hotels that are very early on in the strip and they're totally empty like we basically have this entire beach to ourselves right now whereas if you go to like Azulik or any of the really trendy like five star places they're going to be a lot busier as well as the food and drinks are actually way cheaper and if you're just ordering a bottle of beer it's like what's the difference if you're at a five star place or a very casual place <laughs> back to our bikes and let me show you why you need a bike here in Tulum the traffic is crazy last time I was here because it was actually you can see it better this way last time I was here it was slow season and I didn't actually know that and I never experienced this traffic but man if you're here during busy season definitely get a bike or a scooter because you do not want to be waiting like an hour in a car to get to the beach so we have just gotten back to our hotel. I am exhausted. We did a lot of bike riding today. Like we truly were riding bikes for like, God, like three or four hours, but it was super fun. Um, a really nice first day back in Tulum, but I have to say, I'm very shocked at how much more developed it is than it was when I was here two years ago. I felt like the whole place was to myself and it was so like empty. And today there was a ton of traffic, cars everywhere. But yeah, it was super, super busy, which was very surprising, especially because like, you know, I feel like a part of the reason is because most countries aren't allowing foreign travelers and Mexico is right now. So I do think that's part of the reason that it was so busy today. But with that said, uh, I need to eat the food that Laura and I picked up at the grocery store on the way home because I am very hungry and tired and I think I'm just going to get into bed and probably edit this video. So that is all for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you leave this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell so you can see when I post new videos, leave a comment, say hi y'all know I love to chat in the comments and uh, yeah thank you again for being here love you the most and talk to you soon and we have some beautiful little <gasps> ice coffees where I just spilled it all the milk all righty okay okay let's rip guys <laughs> I'm such a loser why did I say that Thank you.